Hey guys, just wanted to uh, introduce you guys to a cool little app uh, that we've been following for a couple months and we finally got an alpha of it. It's out on the market, anybody can get to it. A company named Bluestacks has created a, what, for all intent and purpose, what seems to me is a Dalvik environment that runs in Windows. And what that means um, is that you are able to run Android applications uh, directly on top of Windows. Now we're using Windows 7. I'm not sure uh, what other iterations of Windows it'll run on, but um, for, for here it's, it's running fine. Uh, the installer, uh, just look, go to Google and look up Blue Stacks. Um, you will find a you know, free to download application you can try for yourself. We just wanted to show you on the big touch screen how it works. Pretty awesome stuff. Uh, it installed very quick. We had no problems whatsoever installing it. Let's get right into it. Once it installs, uh, you see two things. You'll see a gadget here on the screen, and you'll also see in your notification area also the, uh, the, the uh, icon for that application. So click on the gadget, and you can see they've already had some prepackaged applications that came with it. Uh, they have, you know, stuff like Pulse and Alchemy and stuff like that. Uh, you can switch over to your next page. I've actually added a couple applications myself. Um, and they have a really interesting one here called Get More Apps. When you click on that, what it does is it brings you to a website and it tells you to log in with your Facebook profile. Once you do that, um, you can go to what's called Cloud Connect. Now what Cloud Connect allows you to do is they also have a application for your Android device in the market um, that will allow you, it'll parse the applications that you currently have on your Android device and let you share them out to the cloud and back to this application. I shared out Maps and I shared out Bubble Blast. I reset the client here and as soon as I did that I was able to access those two applications, both Maps and Bubble Blast. I'm, go I'm speeding through this because I want to show you guys the cool stuff. So let's start. Um, they packaged it with Pulse. So let's go ahead and click Pulse. All right, now I was already using it, and yes, this does do multitasking like any other uh, Android appliance. Uh, but as you can see, I can sort through my news. My news. Uh, it pops up, you know, the different articles and the different feeds and stuff like that, click on it. Sorry for the kind of a slow internet connection here, but it is multi-touch capable. If the application was built to be multi-touch, this also is multi-touch. And um, this button down here um, is the menu button, so whatever menu button that you use on your Android device and you get sub-menus, this is the button that does that. So you can see, you know, mark is red, open and everything. It's, an, it's the actual Android application. This is really cool stuff. Um, another for instance, let's go ahead and I'm going to open up Bubble Blast. Now, Bubble Blast was already open before, but what this allows you to do is typically Bubble Blast would open up just like this, but I want to full screen it. They have a full screen button right here. Hit the full screen button, zoom it, and it will actually open up the application and stretch the app to full screen. You can see how quickly this thing functions. Uh, it's unbelievably fast. I don't want to get the new version. Let's just get into it and play a little bit. Um, oh, that didn't quite work out. I guess this app's better to just load it as is. But the way it handles these applications, it's unbelievably fast. Another advantage of this is that it actually uses the power of the GPU. So if you have games that would, you know, that typically use a little bit more graphics power than other games, uh, they'll run very smoothly. So as you can see, it's just, you know, working fine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Now when I close this, if I don't exit the game, it'll continue running in the background, and I can still run other applications. Here's Maps, okay. Again, excuse my uh, slow internet connection, but there it is, it's Maps, it works, it's, it's the same application. Zoom in.
pretty awesome stuff I thought I'd like to share. Um, good work on the app. Uh, I'd love to see what the final product looks like. I do believe they have a version coming and the pro version will allow you to put um, you know, different apps like that you would typically have to pay for. It'll allow you to convert them over. Don't quote me on that. Please go to the site, check them out. Really awesome stuff.